Okay, today we'll be taking out the Prius C hybrid battery, uh, 2012, 221,000 miles. As you see, the battery is not located here in the back. But it's actually located underneath these back seats. So we're gonna have to remove the actual panel down here to get started. So as you see from these, these are just basic pop clips. You just pop them out, as you see. You can just use something pointy. And then they just come out. Then you just remove these panels as you go. Next step, you take this uh, hybrid traction battery uh, release. You pull it down, lift up, pull it out. And now that battery should not work if you happen to start your car, which it shouldn't be in this whole project. So I don't know if this isn't a maintenance, but see this right here? This is called dust. And honestly, let me show you where I found that. On the uh, actual uh, fan, this whole thing here was covered completely solid. So I'm wondering if that had anything to do with my battery dying. Uh, we're going to have it for a test run just to see if anything changes. Alright, next. There's two clips in the front. Sorry, I can't see. Two clips underneath the gray section. You can power off a screwdriver. Uh, and then you just slide out the seat belts. Pop off the top. And there's your Prius C battery. Uh, excuse the noise. My neighbor's building a house. Can't wait till he finishes. Um, a few minutes ago, I mentioned the dust on this uh, cooling fan. You definitely want to clean that off if you have a chance. Like I said, there's only two clips holding it. This cover comes off right here. Clean off this because you don't want to overheat your battery for no freaking reason. Uh, hope that's not what I did. If I did, at least I learned a lesson and so will you. And uh, it's kind of nice right there's a quarter. It's great. Quarter less for the job. So we're going to clean this out, make sure it's nice and clean. And then we'll get to the next phase. I think we have to remove this bar to remove this battery and uh, get the replacement and hopefully she runs. We'll also have that battery tested over there. I mean, that's not too much of a hassle, but I don't want to do it again. Uh, and these were the clips they had to pop off for the seat. There's one there. There's one located right there. Just the seat belt slide out. All right, next you take off these bolts, which are located here on the bottom. There's two. They're called the lower, uh, lower seat bolts I use my 14 inch uh, ratchet 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 rack yeah huh. sorry it's too early uh, 14 inch socket damn this block is loud 14 inch socket with my ratchet took the bottom off now we're gonna go to the next step which we're gonna remove these with the 14 inch socket there's two of them don't mix up your screws people because then you have more things to worry about. All right, once you remove those screws, the metal frame that supports the seats comes off. Next, we gotta disconnect this, and we gotta get this exhaust fan off. Okay, so we're gonna pop it off there, I guess, and um, that's pretty much it. Pop that off, put this to the side. Remember, that's the exhaust fan, uh, and then we're gonna disconnect the battery, like I said, and I'm gonna keep moving on. All right, as you see, I took the uh, air vent out. Connects to here, goes to this right here. Um, now we're gonna remove these bolts right here. I don't know if I can do it with my hand. No, I can't do it one-handed, I'll be back. But that's one bolt, there's one on the other side. All right, so we removed the three, three 10 inch, three 10 inch bolts that hold this. Actually, two bolts and one is a uh, nut that goes right here. I'm going to put it back so I don't lose it. 
you know how that happens sometimes. You end up missing screws. Uh, so once we got that, there was also um, there was also a bolt right there, which we removed. All right. There was another bolt, two bolts in a in the front of it, holding it. As you see, they're on the floor. I mean nuts. These nuts. There was one more over here. So pretty much we got the battery disconnected. Actually unscrewed, not disconnected. The next is this lovely switch. So it says turn clockwise. We'll figure it out as we go along. But you gotta turn this to unlock it. Oh great, then we find this thing. I stood here for a little bit trying to figure it out. Uh, this that you pulled out earlier, see has that little pin on top? You put it into this little hole. Oh, it'd be nice if I was videotaping it. So you will put it into this little hole. Right? Let me figure this out for you guys, right? You will put it into this little hole like that, and you would spin it until it up comes out. And it holds that right there. I have no idea what it does, but I was reading some instructions online and stated you have to take that out. So we're going, we'll figure it out as we go along. Oh yeah, that's right. I remember. Uh, that is for the safety, so you can remove these four bolts. Uh, that's where the wires meet, right there. I love the orange wire, so we're going to start disconnecting that. Those are 10-inch bolts. Alright, got the bolts out. Now we're going to remove this cover. And as you see, we have all the uh, material here, all the wires and stuff. So, to the next step, I'm just going to replace some of these bolts so we don't lose them all so that's the worst thing to do is when you lose your nuts maybe I'll have to take those off still I'm not sure I don't think so it's going up there anyway next we uh, unplug this first wire pull it back and they take these two wires move them out the way so I have to take a few second break I decided to uh, have some fun with my hand uh, to try to take off the clips that connect the seat and uh, I was pulling real hard and I hit the battery I'm okay though uh, battery's out I was gonna drip around my driveway a little bit I don't need emergency response so I was trying to take these clips out to hold the carpet in right there and I happened to hit myself right there stupid uh, battery's out let me just put the Right down so I'll cover it in blood. But as you see, battery's out. I'm gonna remove it. Time to drive about an hour and a half in my uh, SUV to get a new battery so I can go back to work. Another video brought to you by Able Driving School. Uh, we'll have part two of the video. Uh, part two will state um, if the car started. If I actually did my job correctly, uh, that's pretty much it. There we go. Alright, see ya.